Good evening. I'm Kendall Burnett here at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention with Wildcats Media News. Saturday, Dr. Jerry Johnson, former president of Criswell College in Dallas, Texas, was installed as the new president and CEO of NRB. Paul said, an effective door is open unto me, but there's much opposition. And that leads me to our third mission point, defending free speech. Coming up later tonight, Lydia Magallanes reports on the possible changes for NRB under the direction of Jerry Johnson. For Wildcats Media News, I'm Kendall Burnett. Good evening. I'm Kendall Burnett here at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention with Wildcats Media News. NRB 2014 will be remembered as a year of change. With the installation of Dr. Jerry Johnson as the new president and CEO of NRB, there is new vision for the organization's future. Here's Wildcats Media's Lydia Magallanes with more of what's ahead for NRB. Another year at NRB brings plenty of new faces, but this year the spotlight is on one person in particular, NRB's recently installed president, Dr. Jerry Johnson. It's a huge task. We have so many new opportunities. There is always opposition when you try to do something good, particularly when you try to do something for the Lord. You know, there's always spiritual opposition. I think we face cultural opposition, but greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I think Dr. Johnson's a great, a great new president for the NRB. Excited about it. I think he brings a fresh voice. Oh, he has passion for solid biblical content being kind of transmitted with a multiple of channels, I think opens new doors. Dr. Johnson's vision is to move the NRB into the 21st century. God wants us to advance and to move forward. Those at NRB say Dr. Johnson's leadership will be the change that this organization needs in a time when freedom of religion and speech are being limited in a secular world. When you begin to limit the free exchange of ideas, Christians will suffer, minorities will suffer. Yes, we're Christians and it's about religious freedom, but actually the battle is going to be about the government censoring all kinds of speech. In order to preserve freedom of speech, Dr. Johnson envisions the NRB to be what the National Riflemen's Association is to the Second Amendment. That I believe we have high ground constitutionally, and certainly we won't do a lot of things that the NRA is doing. I want us to be as effective for the First Amendment as they have been for the Second Amendment. Broadcasters like Randy Weiss know the ineffectiveness of limited speech all too well. I have the right as a licensed broadcaster to declare Jesus is Lord without asking permission. The FCC's recently proposed spectrum launching and repack will limit lower power stations because of high entry costs, which Weiss says are largely populated by Christian broadcasters. Our airwaves are under assault. They are going to take away my television stations. They're going to confiscate and redistribute my television stations. Despite these obstacles, the future is bright for the NRB with Dr. Johnson's vision to move forward by using media as a tool to combat limited free speech. Let's do it together. God bless you. Amen. Reporting from the National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Nashville, I'm Lydia Magallanes with Wildcats Media News. Later tonight, Wildcats Media Stephen Maxwell brings us reaction to the installation of the new president and the future of NRB. For more of our coverage of NRB, visit wildcatsmedia.com. For Wildcats Media News, I'm Kendall Burnett. Good evening. I'm Kendall Burnett with Wildcats Media here at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. With the change of NRB's leadership, those here at this year's convention are reacting to what could be some exciting changes for the organization as well. Here's Wildcats Media Stephen Maxwell with more. In a world full of change, NRB now under the new leadership of Dr. Jerry Johnson is looking to adapt. We're getting older and the younger ones are coming up. To the ever-changing world of media. It's tough sometimes, but yeah, we gotta let go. <laughs> During a press conference held on Friday, Dr. Johnson talked about moving into the 21st century in order to reach younger generations. We're used to doing things this way, you know, but yeah, we're, we're changing though too, we have to. Now sometimes change can be a little scary, but for those here at NRB, change is an opportunity to spread the ministry of Jesus Christ to all generations. You have to go forward. You can't just do the old thing. You always have to come to a new place in your, in your, even if it's in your personal walk, I don't care what it is. You have to go with those changes or you, you're not going to go anywhere. Whether it is blogs, podcasts, or social media, many say the future of NRB under Dr. Johnson. He's a great guy, a perfect fit for this role. Will be a good one for adapting to 21st century media. If Jesus were to ride into town today, it wouldn't be on a donkey. 
the message would be the same, but the vehicle would be different. But to be able to effectively utilize new forms of media, Dr. Johnson stressed the importance of protecting freedom of speech, which many feel is vital for Christians and every American. We're living in very trying times, and thank God for the NRB for the way they stand up and they're at you know Washington and they're fighting FCC and they're fighting all the rights for Christian media and thank God for them. This is affecting every American for what they stand for and what they believe. It's a worldview issue. Reporting from the National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Nashville, for Wildcats Media, I'm Stephen Maxwell. For more of our coverage of NRB, visit wildcatsmedia.com. For Wildcats Media News, I'm Kendall Burnett.